it's Robin and welcome back to another thrift store Thursday haul. This past week I went to two different thrift stores and whoo, I found some good stuff. A lot of white dishes which makes me very happy. So I was so excited to share my haul with you today. So let's see where should we start. I think I'm going to start with the items that are not dishes first and then we'll move on to the fun stuff of showing off all my new dishes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I found was a wicker basket. I don't know why, but this one spoke to me and I thought it would work very nicely for the shelves in my bathroom. Um, it's just a basic rectangle shape. It has a little bit of handle on the side. I sort of like the color. I may end up painting it. I'm not sure if it fits in the bathroom. We'll see how it looks. But it was $1.99 and I thought it was worth a shot because you can't go wrong with a nice square basket. You can use it in so many different places. So I thought that was a great deal. So the second thing that I found was a fitted sheet for a twin size bed. So we've got three girls, we've got three twin beds. Actually we have four twin beds because we have a day bed downstairs. So I'm always looking for some nice looking sheets to go on that with the don't break the bank. And sheets are expensive. I don't understand why sheets are so expensive. But anyways, found this one. I liked the pattern on it. It's very simple, very classic, and it was only three dollars. So I was totally excited to find this. The next item I found was a little silver piece. It is a little candle holder with the drip tray. It's got the cute little handle and I just I just love these because they're so very old-fashioned. This one was $2.99 and I think I can't really read this the sticker on the back but I'm pretty sure it's by Rogers and it's just like a silver plated so it's very pretty I like that it's very short and like I have a couple other ones like this but the tray is more fluted and I don't know I think this would be so cute just sitting like on a stack of books or something like that or on my bedside table I don't know I just love these I love the old-fashioned look to them and, and it's in silver, so you can't go wrong for $3. All right, so the last thing that I found that is not a white dish is a brand new, still in its packaging, pillow form. It was $3 and I thought that was a score because you can never go wrong with a pillow form. This one's not a down, it's just a regular, you know, a batting kind of filling, but for $3, it's a nice little size. I don't know if it says what size it is. Oh, it's a 14 inch. I thought it was a nice size. I think it would look nice on one of my armchairs or possibly on a bed. So now I have a pillow form in which to make a pillow cover, which means I get to sew, which is awesome. So that was a good find. All right, so moving on to the dishes. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. Anyways, all right, we'll start with, ugh, sorry. All right, so the first stack of dishes that I found is this little one right here. Very simple, very small. These were two for 99 cents, and I ended up getting two, four, six, eight of them. So for $4, I got eight little plates, and I thought they were just a cute little size, um, like maybe for when we do Thanksgiving dinner or something, to put like your roll on, or you know, little side dish to like put more food on. <laughs> it's a little smaller than like a side, salad plate if that makes sense and it's larger than like a cup sauce a saucer plate so I thought this was a nice little size and I got a nice little stack of them and I'm very happy with these now these are I can't remember oh here we go Corel Lux um, break and chip resistant and I think you can use them in the microwave also and they're very sturdy. I was very surprised at how heavy they feel. So a very ironstone like is how the feel of them are. So I was very excited about those plates. I know I'm crazy. Who gets excited about plates? I don't know. Just crazy people like me. All right. So moving on to the next stack of dishes that I found. I found the stack of little bowls. I thought they were so adorable. They're just a small size. Let's see how many did I, I picked up eight of them and they were four for a dollar ninety nine. I thought that was a really good deal. I thought these would be perfect for the kids for like 
you know, their ranch sauce or their barbecue sauce, little dipping cups or whatever, or their ketchup, what have you. So I just thought they were a nice little size to have on hand. I don't know the brand on them. It looks like it says pristine. But anyways, once again, they have a nice heavy feel to them. They're in like almost perfect condition. A couple of them are a little scuffy on the bottom part of them, but I don't really care. I thought they were the perfect size and for, you know, $4, I have eight little saucers that will come in very handy. So plus, if I love stacking plates all over the place. So look at this little stack. I mean, doesn't that just make you happy? <laughs> it makes me happy. So anyways, moving on. The next thing I found was a little um, creamer and sugar set. Um, first I found the little creamer. It was a 99 cents and I just think he is just adorable. He's got like, he's like sh short and like square and I just thought he was super cute. And he's got a little bit of detailing on the side. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but it's just really cute. It's kind of got like a fluted edges on all four corners. I just thought he was really cute. I don't have anything this shape, so I couldn't pass him up for 99 cents. And then I wandered down the, down the aisle a little further and I found the matching creamer for it. It has a cute little, cute little top on it. It doesn't have the spoon, but this was also only 99 cents. And I'm pretty sure that I have some itty bitty silver spoons that will work in this very nicely. So for $2, I got a cute little set for creamer and sugar. So I was very happy with that. All right, so the next item that I found I was very excited about. Even though I told myself many, many times that I am no longer buying gravy boats because for the last three years I have been collecting them and I'm to the point where I have more than I can display. So that's the point where I kind of like cut it off <laughs> a collection. I stopped buying things for that collection. But if I happen to find something that I really like, then I will purchase it, but then I have to make sure that I get rid of another gravy boat but anyways all that being said I found myself a gravy boat but I'm very excited about this one because it is actually an iron stone one which a lot of times it's hard to find and normally in the past I just find ones that I like the shape of or you know some, something that's not what I already have so let me show you what it looks like it has the gravy boat and it has the little dish. And I thought it was so cute. How much did I pay for this? I can't remember. Okay, so I paid uh, $3.99 for this. The gravy boat itself is a really pretty shape. I like that it's got a little bit of curve to it and it's got a nice little curvy handle. I love that. The plate itself is just very, very simple. But yeah, but it is a Johnson Brothers and it does say Ironstone on it. So that made me very happy. And yeah, a lot of my gravy boats don't have the little tray that it sits on. So this is kind of nice to have a gravy boat and the little tray. So I was very happy about that. And for $4, oh, I was like, yes, thank you. You can go in my cart. All right, so this last item is another item in which I do not need to be purchasing anymore. And I actually found one last week also, if you remember. But I saw one this week. And I'm like, oh, I really like that one too. So then I picked it up and it is another, <laughs> don't laugh at me, another soup train. <gasps> this one was $5.99. It is also, like last week's um, soup train, in the oval shape. Doesn't have the little spoon or anything, but I don't really care because I don't really use those anyways. And yeah, I just love it. It's again, very simple. It's got a little bit of fluting on the sides here. And yeah, I just thought it was very cute. And for $5, $5.99, I wasn't going to pass it up. So I don't know, with last week's soup train and this week's soup train, I don't know, I need to reassess my soup train collection because I don't have anywhere to put it at the moment. So now I'm just going to have two random soup trains sitting on my counter in my kitchen, which is where last week's one is sitting. So I'll probably add this one to it until I can figure out which ones I'm going to be keeping. Um, I know I have, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's a, it's a conundrum. 
it's just not fair <laughs> so anyways this one does have like on the lid it has a teeny tiny little chip on the outside but I don't that doesn't bother me because it's not like I'm going to actually use it to serve food from. It's more of a decorative item for me. So, which is probably why it was only $5.99. But that's all right. It works for me and I am excited to use it somewhere in my decor. Although, however, I need to reassess my soup tureen collection because I don't know where to put any more of them. That is my problem at the moment, which is a terrible problem to have if you're into collecting soup trains. So anyways, there you go. Alright, so that is this week's thrift store haul. I found some excellent items I'm so excited about and I cannot wait to get all my dishes washed up and go start playing with them and arranging them. And then the um, this stack actually is going to be stuff that we use on a normal basis so I'll be putting it up in this little cabinet up here so I need to rearrange that a little bit I'm, I'm on the lookout for some platters to go if you can see I don't know if you can see but on this shelf I've got like a red platter and this shelf I have a black platter but I want another one for the top shelf but these platters that I want are like very elusive I have been looking for like a year now for things that I can use as serving dishes that will fit up there and like propped up against the back like that. I don't know. I just don't know what to do because I'm not finding anything. And I don't like that it's mismatched. I would like either white or black, I think, is what I'm trying to go for. But anyways, that's a whole other <laughs> video. Sorry, I'm just rambling. But anyways, this stack of dishes will be going up in that cupboard up over there. So yeah. So I need to rearrange that a little bit so that they can be used. So I'm very excited. <sighs> All right, I just need to stop rambling. I apologize. Thank you for stopping by today and checking out this week's Thrift Store Thursday haul. I appreciate it very much. I enjoy making these videos so very much. And I apologize for not having a shop with me this week to share with you. My first, like I said, that first thrift, the Goodwill that I went to first of all was so terrible. I felt like I would have been just re-sharing everything that was on the shelves last week. So I didn't film in there at all and then my second store that I went to I had such limited time I did not have time to film a shop with me so I apologize maybe next week I will have time to do another one. So for those of you who like the shop with me part I apologize. I will do better next week. I hope I can promise that. <laughs> we'll see how next week turns out. But I am going to say goodbye. I will see you again next week for another Thrift Store Thursday. If you have found something that you are excited about at a thrift store or secondhand, leave it in the comments below and let, tell me all about it because I like to know such things. And I will see you again next week. Bye now.